I'm John. I lived a long time ago, and there are true stories about me in the Bible. I'm a little different from other Israelites since I lived in the desert for a while. My clothes are made from camel's hair, which is kind of scratchy. I ate honey and locust because there's not a lot of food that grows in the desert. Did you know Jesus is my cousin? Pretty cool, huh? My parents named me John, but people call me John the Baptist because of my job. Let me tell you about the very special job God gave me to get the people ready to hear Jesus. Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ, the one God promised to send to all of us Israelites to save us. We had been waiting for hundreds of years, but now Jesus had come. And that's when my job started. I came and began preaching in the desert area of Judea. I said, change your hearts and lives because the kingdom of heaven is coming soon. I meant that Christ, the Messiah, the Savior, God's own Son, Jesus, was all grown up and was going to start preaching soon. Isaiah the prophet talked about me 400 years before I was born. Isaiah said, this is the voice of a man who calls out in the desert, Prepare the way for the Lord, which means get ready, the Messiah is coming. Many people came to hear me preach. They came from the city of Jerusalem and all the area around the Jordan River. They told me of the sins they had done and that they wanted to change. I dipped them which means baptize them, in the Jordan River. This showed that they wanted to stop sinning and turn to God and do things His way. A lot of people came to me to be baptized, and that's why they call me John the Baptist. Some of the Israelite temple teachers came too. I knew they were not happy that I was talking about sin and changing their lives. They didn't want to believe they had sin. I said to them, You are evil men. Who warned you to run away from God's anger and punishment that is coming because of your sin? You must do these things that show that you have really changed your hearts and lives. And don't think that you can say to yourselves, I'm a good Israelite, so I'll go to heaven you are not safe from punishment. Everyone has sinned. They didn't want to be changed by God. The rest of the people believed me. To them I said, I baptize you with water to show your hearts and lives have changed because of God. But there is one coming later who is greater than I am. I am not good enough to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. He will come ready to clean the people of sin. Do you know who I am talking about? Yes, Jesus! Since people were changed by God, they wanted to know the right things to do instead of sinning. A soldier came to ask me what he should do to show he had a changed heart and life. I told him not to hurt anyone and to tell the truth. Other people asked also. I told them to be kind, to not steal, to give their extra food and clothes to others who don't have enough. This was the way to live showing that God had changed them. If you have Jesus as your Savior, you can show you have changed life because God gave you a clean heart and made you His child. Be kind. Help others. Love God. If you haven't talked to God about your sin and Jesus being your Savior, you can today. Trust Him. He can change you. This reminds me of our Bible verse, Galatians 3.26.
For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. This is a promise from God. God always keeps His promise. We can trust Him.